Good morning. It is definitely stormy kroner weather here in Oklahoma today. Uh, waterfowl season's over, but I wanted to talk to you about a little thing that I learned this past week about an additional hazard that you may not have thought about when it comes to waterfowl hunting. Waterfowl season is over, and yet the dangers and hazards still potentially persist. Now we all know that when we hunt around water in inclement weather, it's always a good decision and the prudent decision to wear your personal flotation device, wear warm clothing, prepare for the unexpected, and to mitigate those hazards and dangers as much as possible. But I learned just this past week of a danger that persists and can persist days and weeks and even months after the waterfowl season is over. So watch this and it may potentially uh, come into play. Now the hazard that I'm actually talking about is not from the water, it's not from the elements, it's from this. This is a steel shot waterfowl shotgunning shell. It's not the hazard that you would think of as far as being a victim of the projectiles within it from a traditional gunshot standpoint. The hazard that I'm talking about is the ingestion of the steel pellets themselves. Steel was thought to be a safe alternative to keep waterfowl and other wildlife from ingesting the lead that was traditionally used in waterfowl hunting. However, steel has its hazard as well. Specifically, the hazard that I'm talking about is after you ingest the steel shot, the potential for it to remain in your body for some time is pretty good. Uh, for example, I took an MRI uh, earlier this month, and when I did, the MRI technician picked up metal that was in the MRI image and after some time was able to deduce that the shot had not passed all the way through and had in fact uh, remained in my body and was interfering with the MRI image. The main concern was, was the object causing discomfort because it can heat up, it can uh, be affected by the magnet of the MRI, and it can cause potential problems for the patient. And it can also cause potential problems in the image itself in that it, uh, it can interfere with the uh, image. In my case, the uh, object was was not in the area that they were. It was in the area they were looking, but it did not interfere with the images they were trying to acquire with the MRI. Now, as I just demonstrated there, I just turned a corner. Uh, we're turning a corner in the chapter of our life as well. We. Uh, the house that I have owned for 30 years, the farm, the property, the shop, uh, everything we have sold and we will be uh, moving out within the next 30 days and we will be living in our travel trailer as we build our next house. And so we will be on quite an adventure. I can tell you right now there will probably be very little uh, decoy carving. I do have some stuff I'm keeping out. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to sit outside the travel trailer to kind of be like uh, camping actually. And hopefully I'll be able to work on it, be able to post on it some. We're just limited to space uh, during this time. So we, uh, we don't quite know uh, how we're going to accomplish all this, but we're in the process of doing it now. So the, the channel will definitely take on a little bit different flair. Uh, I've not been real prolific with producing videos anyway, but probably be even less so now. So uh, be careful. Uh, the waterfowl that you eat, it can have hidden dangers in it. Be careful with that. Um, and, uh, you know, keep... Uh, just keep on as we will try to keep on and go make some shavings. You'll feel better.